the Sundarbans. Fringing the Bay of Bengal in Bangladesh is the world's largest mangrove forest, a source of livelihood to millions and more. It protects the land and its people from the effects of the changing climate, ferocity of the cyclones and tidal waves, a provider and a protector. Over the last few decades, cyclones, erosions and tidal surges have been intensifying. For the communities around the Sundarbans, a slow disaster has been unfolding. During high tides and tidal surges, saline water enters the mainland, seeping through embankments and lowlands, making the soil totally infertile. Farmers can no longer grow crops and people are forced to seek alternate livelihoods, penetrating deeper and deeper into the forest to hunt for crabs, fish, honey and firewood. But all at risk. Boshunto Mondol is one of them. He lost his beautiful farmland to saline water, now entirely dependent on the Sundarbans for a living. খুব কষ্ট লাগে বোনের বাদায় জঙ্গলে সমস্ত ভাই সাপের ভাই বাঘের ভাই ডাকাতির ভাই হাতে দা থাকে তার ভাই সমস্ত ভাই সবলে তুই কামাই করে বাড়ি সে তাই একবার এই ঠাকুর ঘরে পুজো দিচ্ছে এরকম দেবার সঙ্গে সঙ্গে ফোন দিছে ফোন দিলে ওইরকম পুণ্যে পা দিয়ে ফোন ধরেছি আর ওই ছেলে বলতে মা আমার ডাকাতি তুলে নিয়েছে তখন উন্মাদ পাগল হয়ে গেলাম এর কাছে যাই ওর কাছে যাই টাকার জন্য টাকা না দিলে তো ডাকাতি ছাড়ে না ওই ছেলে যখন মারে তখন ফোনে আমি নিজেই কেঁদে ফেলেছি আগে আমাদের বয়সে দেখেছি দুই মন তিন মন করে ধান হতো এক বিঘা জমিতে তখন জমি করতাম পনেরো বিঘে বিশ বিঘে এখন জলের জন্য নোনা ওই এক ফসল করে হয় তাতে মানুষের ঠিক মতন খাওয়া পরা হয় না সব কিছু এই গতরের পরে এই জঙ্গল করি মাছ মারিয়ে কাগড়া ধরি মধু কাঠি মধু সিসে না আসলে মধু কাঠি Water here is synonymous to life. In the coastal villages, people suffer from salinization and many women spend three to four hours just fetching drinking water daily. In the last 35 years, salinity increased approximately 26% in the country, now spreading even to non-coastal areas. Saline water is directly related to numerous health implications and the suffering of human lives due to this is beyond imagination ni program liye dui pasa kor theke tar pore concept korchi bolmo ami she bare abhoshan holo tar pore ei bhabe aro dui bar concept korchi tin bare abhoshan hoyse sai theke bibhinno manusher bibhinno kotha hotra shunte hoy to nide bassare seta to koshto abar manusher ei koto kotha ar jonno onek kharap lagche স্যালানিটি বেশি থাকার কারণে এখানে পেশেন্টদের বেশিরভাগ ডায়েটারি সল্ট বেশি থাকাতে হাইপার টেনশন অর্থাৎ ব্লাড প্রেশার বেশি থাকে এবং ব্লাড প্রেশারটা বেশি থাকার জন্য তাদের ফিমেল যে পেশেন্টগুলি আছে প্রেগনেন্ট তাদের অনেক সময় আমরা মিসক্যারেজের হিস্ট্রিটাও বেশি পাই নারী কি পুরুষ প্রত্যেকেই দেখা যায় যে প্রায় পেশেন্টদেরই স্কিনের প্রবলেম থাকে স্কিন ইনফেকশন থাকে প্লাস তাদের জেনিটাল ইনফেকশন থাকে তারা পুকুরের পানিতে গোসল করে বেশি এবং পুকুরের পানিতেও সেখানেও স্যালানিটি বেশি থাকে যেহেতু এখানের ক্লাইমেটটা এরকম These are the people ready to fight back for their lives with resilience. And this strength is the basic element of Friendship's Mangrove Afforestation Project. This is the river. Here is the embankment. In between this is a mud flat. And the people from this community took part for mangrove plantation. And this plantation will act as a natural barrier for their safety from storm surge, tidal surge, 
erosion and any other crisis due to cyclone. Combining local knowledge, science and need, securing their land against the onslaught of wind and water, bringing benefits of the mangrove for livelihood, for these communities for whom this is the lifeblood. as the community is integral to the project, they know, they learn the importance of the mangrove for their survival. It is not for one man's interest. Its role is to create solidarity, engulfing the whole community. All get livelihood access, comfort and continuance of their life. Leaves and seeds from the mangrove, which floated in the river, were used as cooking fuel. Today, Friendship collects these to sprout saplings, making the largest private sector nursery for mangroves in Bangladesh. All people from the community, they feel ownership for this plantation. The forest department and local government and community, this is a tripartite ownership for a better future. Friendship has planted 100 plus hectares of forests on the mud flats to protect the embankments. Preparation is going on for several hundred more hectares. As we prepare for new plantations annually and continue maintenance of the older plantations, we see how the community, realizing deeply the hope it brings for their future, has started to take the ownership and responsibility for caring for the mangroves themselves. This village is Paddupukur. Here is Gabuda and the other village is Nildomoria, the straight the Bay of Bengal. And their neighbor is Sundarban. And today, mangrove plantation is a festival. All villagers, men and women, they are planting safeguard for future. To nurture the trees as they mature, a community caretaker is employed to look after each hectare of the plantation. Along with the plantation, the project includes training programs to help climate-impacted families develop alternate incomes, such as rearing livestock and homestead gardening. The mangroves forests like these have a super power to help to fight against climate change. Typically, mangroves can body and store much more carbon than terrestrial forest. This carbon vault can remain secure for a millennium as long as the mangroves exist. The crisis is only half of the world's original mangroves remains. The way it continues indicates mangroves will disappear within the next 100 years. There is still hope and we can keep continue these efforts 
to bring back our ecosystem. Any individuals, industry can be part of this whole initiative for a better world. Look into their eyes, full of possibilities, ready to fight every disaster with courage. Only through global solidarity, respect for each life on this planet can we overcome today's crisis and leave a world of hope and opportunity for the generations to come.